It's snowing a lot. I think it's gonna be a white Christmas. Why are you looking into a jug? Because when she kicks, she won't get poop and dust in it. <laughs> Last night at about midnight, I came out to, to check on them and lock up the barn and everything. So I felt bad for her. I just figured she needed to be milked because she's used to that. Whenever I come out, she wants to be milked. So I just grabbed the nearest thing, which was a gallon jug. And I just thought, you know, I don't even care about the milk. I'm just going to get, get her milked out just for her comfort. And it's way easier this way. Solves all of my problems. Cause it... <laughs> so I can move this thing away if she kicks, and it's just really easy to grab, of course. <laughs> See, she's she doesn't like this. She's getting better, but she still she basically just doesn't like being touched down here. But she's fine with the other two two quarters. Another benefit of this is I I get the satisfaction of seeing it fill up really quickly. <laughs> So I'm like, yay, I've almost got you know, half a gallon here. I... And then what I do is I pour it into that big five gallon jug up there behind that chicken. So we'll probably get about two gallons out of this quarter and then maybe um, a gallon each from each of the other quarters. And those are the ones that, that the calf is drinking out of regularly. But amazingly, we're still getting a gallon each out of those. Since she doesn't have four quarters, she only has three. And this one works just great for this, <laughs> this single one, since I can only do it one-handed anyway. It's just those first few days, maybe a couple weeks, after she calves, that are really, really annoying. Uh, it's really difficult to milk, but as long as I'm patient with her, she'll be patient with me, and we just kind of have to re-get used to each other, if that makes any sense. He insists. You want to be in the movie? Fine. There you go. The movie's all about you. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go check on the girls. Okay. Love you. Love you. What is that for? <laughs> Thank you.
guys doing? We are coloring these really cute window pane things. Here, Ben, can I hold it up? Look at that stained glass window coloring pages that we got from a viewer. And she gave us a pile of books too. This is after Lizzie snatched a pile that she wanted to keep for her very own. That is so pretty, honey. So isn't that nice? Thank you so much. Emmy is a dedicated artist. She always has a notepad and a pencil or pen in her hand. And when she doesn't have that, it's because she swapped it out for some other kind of art form. Or possibly a banana. That's that's the other time she puts stuff down. Sweetie, you're doing a great job. So as you can see, we had to move all the presents that we wrapped because Emmy was opening a few of them and we had to hide them all upstairs. But really, most of the presents that we have from this Christmas are from you guys. Check this out. You guys, look at this. This is all from our P.O. box. And this too, I fell down. I, I can't believe it. And then there's a couple others that we opened that we that ended up being so awesome that we were waiting to open all the rest till Christmas Day. And I'm just blown away at your generosity and thoughtfulness that you would think of us and package and put the effort and cost into giving us a gift. We are so grateful. We feel so blessed this Christmas. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Banjo. That is so pretty. Should we put it in this window? This is, a, this is another gift from a viewer. You guys have sent us gifts and cards. We even got an ornament. Thank you, Lynn. She sent us two ornaments. This one and this one from Florida. This is sand from her beaches. And this is a sign that points to the beach near her area. Isn't that fantastic? We are so grateful. Thank you so much and thank you for watching and for your generosity and friendship. Bye bye! Have a great day. Bye! bye. Ready, Banjo? What are you making? Thank you.